Hello everyone, welcome to Fijian Investment Trader. This is Mr. Singh, Marathon Digital Holdings, ticker symbol MARA. Folks, I am still in Fiji Islands. You can see my voice is really down. I have a big sore throat, but I wanted to make sure that I discuss my favorite stock with you guys. And on my portfolio also is Marathon Digital Holdings, ticker symbol MARA. What is going on? We are trading sideways, which is okay which is okay folks so stay tuned don't go anywhere because we have a lot to discuss and this couple of negative news came out and that's what happened right one was that i want to share with you guys is uh the earnings coming up right uh company's earnings surprise in the history has not been impressive and it's delivered a fourth quarter earnings coming on 65 percent of average which is going to be at 28. for every 28 it's going to be the earnings and already the and history of digital maritime is uh, sorry maritime digital holdings it's always been about negative when it comes in it's always had the pullback right history does repeat it times uh, we know what they have done in between Georgia and Tennessee of those two areas where they have uh, acute on the mining thing we talked about the slip stream and streaming on crypto thing they have started with that so there's a lot of growth and development coming out of this and we want to see how the earnings on that i'm still doing my due diligence we'll be coming out my next video on the earnings and what do you think is going to be how the trend is going on so stay tuned on that and also uh, the bitcoin right is going 15 trump has warned about cryptos and we know mr trump he is the former u.s president seems slowly warning up to the cryptos uh, on some regulation right what they want to have regulation on cryptocurrency so it has some negative effects on that uh, so bitcoin is holding steady around 51,000, which we're going to discuss it right now nearly eight ten ten straight sessions to this month and consists of nearly up to 93 percent increase over the six months which is great right which is great you want to see that because it plays a big part on how on that before we talk on the technical side we see how new bitcoin is doing it and you can clearly see that on the five trade trend on on bitcoin and you can see that we went up high at 52 53 and kind of had this trading on the sideways right now and pulling it right we are struggling to go over 51,400 and but this is going to be that magic number is 51,643 that's something to keep an eye where bitcoins needs to break out to have that uptrend on that um, back home in Fiji Islands enjoying the weather enjoying the people company and eating a lot of good food and drinks and that's why my voice is pretty down it's not that because I'm down because how the stock is performing it's how I am feeling it so I want to make sure I'm very clear with that and share with you guys but let's talk on the technical side right what are we looking at it right so this is my five day and I mentioned it the two beautiful support and resistance right so now this is gonna become unfortunately as my resistance and I need to change it into a red right so you can see that five dollars of twenty four dollars and thirty nine cents has acted as a massive res uh, resistance level we have dropped it and twenty two dollars and sixty five cents each is gonna be a support level we have tested many times on that but we're trading in between this channel I'm okay I'm happy about it right why I'm happy about it because on the one month you can clearly see that right on the one month we've been trading in between this ch channel and the sideways MACD is still right here some other, some days we have highs right um, and you can clearly see that right a volume predict sprite we don't have that enough volume right now right and where volume is going to be in the, in the take the direction of this stock where it is been trading but right now it is not have enough volume on that on the one month my pink line right which is my 200 day EMA it is sitting at six twenty four dollars and four uh twenty four dollars and two cents right which is we we didn't close on friday we closed at twenty three dollars and ninety nine cents so below and this moving average right here uh which is sitting the blue line which is my 50 day sorry 60 days sitting at twenty four dollars and thirty six cents so we gotta break out we gotta break those two things and we should be trading between twenty four seventy five for indication for you're making higher highs and higher lows but it's pretty flat trading on those two channels and on the side and that's RSI still pointing up. There's a lot of room on that, but it is a trading a little bit on the side because now this is a bunch of new investors. This area where these new investors have came in, where people have, you know, traded, uh, made some profit and they sold it. And what does it look like? It's from here. This is a six month chart. I know I skipped the three months, but I'm going to go back. Where you can make from $17, 30 all the way to $31. People have, you know, took the profits and they have sold it and I don't blame them right and so that, that. so even in the six months you can see that MACD is still showing signs of green which is a great sign 
moving average still line up over here, which is my blue line sitting at $23.97. So even though we closed on on Friday at $23.99, we are still on that uh, moving average up below, which is an okay sign. So this is a grading on the flag right here, but I'm what I'm looking at is where this earnings is going to play a part. Now the earnings needs to play a part to push this stock up high to $30. But you can see that $30, $31 is a major resistance where we have time and time have struggled. We have time and time we have struggled in order to break that. And we are struggling still to do that in terms of that, right? But Bitcoin is my belief is still going to be a 60,000, 60, right? It's coming. It's just there. It's... You know, and that's the same as that. You know, people have load of shares on that, and it's new investors, most of my new investors. So on the MACD, on the six months, you can see there's a green light. We love to see greens on, and on your portfolios as well. Uh, but you can see a green bar of MACDs are changing, right? There's a change going on right here, and it's been trading sideways, and you'll see some movement coming up. And I mentioned on my previous video, I said, hey, guys, this is a healthy pullback and where we've been trading on sideways and we are trading on sideways, right? So which is OK, which is OK, because we have a big gap we have down over here and it goes filled up back again up here. And we are right over here that needs to that over here that needs to be, you know, kind of gap up back again, which I can see it. Right. But right now we're sitting on the thin line, very thin line for a downtrend coming again. So. Love to see how the earnings coming out. I'm still doing my due diligence on that on the report. Let's go quickly look at on the three month chart, right? We're gonna look at the three month chart, and I want to show you guys something, which is our 200 day. It's sitting at 22 dollars and 72 cents. A major, major support level sitting. Resistance still at high, right? At 24 dollars 60. So what I'm saying is simple. We gotta hold at 24 75. We need to sit on top. We gotta sit on top right here in this channel. We gotta shift the gear to over here for the confirmation of uptrend. And if it doesn't, the squeeze does not break out. It will come down all the way to fourteen dollars to seventeen to fourteen dollars, and that fourteen to seventeen dollars, and which we know more, some of you guys really don't want to see it. If you are a bull, if you are a bear, phenomenal. Kudos to you guys on that. Uh, I am still invested. I have not sold my shares yet. I am still on my green on that because I was. Also loaded up shares went around at $15, and but I'm watching it very closely because if this breaks out on the 200-day EMA, then it is coming down that and where I have to wisely sell my shares to lock some gains. But I am watching it very closely where this 200-day, right? At 22.75, 22.73, if it drops and starts dropping for the next two days, then it is a confirmation for the downtrend coming. Right, and we gotta be very wise how to sell the shares to lock profits. And if it doesn't, if the holes start coming up on that, right now it's holding really good, but with earnings coming around the corner on the 28, anything can happen. But I have a very good feeling this earnings it's gonna be change a lot of investors' heart and mind and soul, and where they're gonna push this price up to the up to the 27 to 30, 31 dollars on this range right up here. Year to date, we're gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna share with you guys before I let you guys go. What we're we looking right, and we always want to discuss is how you know what what is intake right, and you can see it. You can see many times they traded in between those channels, and it's still right up here. So it's very close, right? It's very close right now. Two moving average still in uptrend. MACD is kind of slowing out because of the massive sales was going on, but in time and time we have done a phenomenal job of as a bulls pushing those price pretty high and make make those changes throughout that. Hey folks, I'm gonna let you guys go because I can keep talking about Mara. This is one of my favorite stocks. We just gotta keep on the weekend on the on the Bitcoin how we're doing. But I am happy. I am happy we be trading sideways because we are holding on those two moving average, and this is very excited. So we gotta break the Bitcoin. Bitcoin broke up on the weekend over at 51, 60, 24. Then you see a major uptrend coming up and pushing those price, making higher highs and higher lows on that. Hey folks, thank you for watching the video. Please don't forget to subscribe, smash the like button, and turn on the notification. I really appreciate you guys' support, and thank you very much. Take care.